where, where are your grills? I don't have grills. So I don't believe in He's them. He's got actually. girls, so he doesn't need grills. I actually think girls are really offensive <laughs> towards women. <laughs> 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 so, actually, so, yeah. I don't really like that. <laughs> I was going to say, does anybody get laid in this show? Uh, in the show? Yeah. Uh, no. On Outside the of the show? <laughs> oh, can't stop. It's so, a real waterfall. Do you more slack? Uh, more slack? Slack me out. Slack me out. You're good. Tighten it up. It's a little too loose. Perfect. So you guys hate each other? We don't get along. You know, it's it's a nightmare every day. Was there some bonding activities before the show started to make sure that it looked real? Uh, there yeah, was that ten years. Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> ten years of highs and lows. <laughs> we uh, we worked together for like ten years. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We were in two man improvisation in Chicago. Oh, right. We did a show called Practice Scaring a Bear. That's true. One Let's of the best that. posters in the biz. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is one of the best posters Something in the to biz. Claim. It's yeah. a damn man fighting a bear. <laughs> it's a damned man fighting a bear. <laughs> is there is there anything treacherous about taking taking? Obviously, you guys have worked together that long. Is there anything treacherous about taking it like kind of large scale with bigger projects? Do you guys fight more fiercely, or has there been any downfalls, or is it 100% positive? To I'd say our relationship. Let me just answer this one. No, go ahead. Always, always do this. I'm in one of my moods again. I have two. Bitchy and doesn't give a shit. Well, you don't need to tell us, sweetheart. Okay, look. <laughs> Della. Yeah, it's the, it's the, I'd say it's the best it's ever been. We've never shared meals like we have of as of late. And they're all preheatable. They're all preheatable, but $300 a piece. Uh, <laughs> that's fucking kale shipped in from Bali. Yeah. I hate that Bali kale. I hate that, that island kale. I hate that fucking Bali kale. Is Bali an island? I think I just called it one. Like kale in your grill. Yeah, I just little, imagine that. Yo, kale grill. in the grill. I say, baby, that's just more green if you know what I mean. Hell yeah, Benjamin. And I'll slap those legs against my legs. Oh, he, he doesn't know what sex is. <laughs> I've never done it. It's where you go like this. Right? Don't. I told you not to do that in front of guests. <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things. Oh, Truth. Yeah. <laughs> because you always smash them with your legs. <laughs> I, all my Fabergé eggs are gone. All of them. <laughs> How my much class it? figurines. My menagerie. Tennessee Williams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, off Broadway. Yeah, we did an off, Tennessee off, whiskey, off, off yeah, Broadway yeah. Tennessee whiskey uh, pl it play. It was so off Broadway. It was in Ohio. It yes, was in and Ohio. It was a sold out crowd of about twenty. It was a black box theater. Uh, and the theater only seated three hundred. Three hundred. Yes. Yeah, so it was a bit echoey. But that was the main concern. Um, uh, 1980s uh, WWF. We have a home video, and we you can buy the VHS uh, yes, on our website. Right. www. Tiwi and Tarm. 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 It's a, it's a free. It's a .org? Yeah, but you can't, it's so you can't free, actually buy them. It's a free it. website. You yeah. don't have to pay to get on. Yeah, and we send you the VHS for free. Yes. So. Basically, we made about 3,000 VHS copies of this thing. And, and people don't space. have VHS anymore, I guess. <laughs> it's a nightmare to house that all. You got VHS? Yeah, of course you do. You Look at you. Of course, <laughs> you yes. little and a cassette player. Sex bot. <laughs> you, little, you little fucking sex symbol. Oh God. Um, so yeah, we you know, I'm originally from Denver and he's from Canada, and um, we've lived together in the same sort of glass castle at the top of Mulholland Drive for about <laughs> six or seven months now. Yep. Living only off the dreams of others. Yeah, we got our girlfriends in there, and that's when we suck the dreams out. <laughs> like City of Lost Children. I was going to say it's like the Dark Crystal, and we're Skeksis, and they're the little uh, Gelflings. We love Dark Crystal. Oh, I see, I'm seeing it's a lot of It's one of the only things there. that we see eye to eye on. Yeah. That and politics and religion. Those it's three... True. Controversial topics. <laughs> Dark crystal, <laughs> politics, religion. Dark crystal being the most polarizing. It's true. Oh, I mean. God. Better be polarizing than neutralizing. That's what I always say when it comes to crystals. That sounds like something that actually would be in this show. Like, <laughs> in Silicon Valley, yeah. I think better to the polarize. The character would say, probably. Yeah, so much he's a wisdom. real blowhard. <laughs> so much wisdom. How much of your... Uh, uh, I'll say costume in the show is is your own clothes. 
And that's our answer. <laughs> <laughs> An effeminate look towards one another. What do you, and do you want to take this, sweetie? Uh, none. Don't be silly. We would bring our own clothes. No, oh, these are $400 pants. No, we that's don't. because I sold them too. Yeah. I told David Beckham and I love me my Beckham. MLS, LA Galaxy. I always try and bend it like he does. Ugh. Pervert. <laughs> Grow up, dude. <laughs> Grow up, Beckham. Quit bending it. <laughs> Matt, you old yeah, troll. I'm Matt with Beckham. <laughs> um, no, I mean, uh, I'm pretty much none of it, dude. Like, I look yeah. so fucking weird. <laughs> I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't even, like, um, I mean, I, you know, I gained weight for this role, yeah. and I grew my hair so long mm-hmm. that it looked like Jesus got in a bad breakup, and I had that weird, like, meth biker gang mm-hmm. facial hair. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, they just dressed me in Bajas and fucking capris and sweatpants and shirts that a fucking nerd wouldn't even wear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it got HBO, pretty weird. You think HBO show, you think sweatpants. Yeah. It's certainly a new caliber. For that me. is the way I've always done it. I mean, in girls, she's either in sweatpants or bare breasted. <laughs> well, it's sweatpants something. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> I see you, Lena. <laughs> Lena actually works in our building. I can pass this on her. Do not. She's a mitch. I love the show. I love girls. I'm happy to be on the same network as girls. Proud. Men and and women, together. And I'm happy to be on the same network that plays men in black. You ever seen that movie? (laughs) You ever seen that? With Mel Smith and Tommy Lee Holmes. Yeah, and... Tommy Lee Bones. Sugar water. Fucking sugar water. (laughs) How does Mike Judge rein you guys in? He does not. He doesn't. Does he just not feed you? Brett, Brett, the AD does. Okay, you guys. All right, you guys. That's a very inside impression. I'm doing inside baseball, yeah. low and slow. Really? Our first AD sounds like that, and he would be like, "Okay, guys. All right, Annabelle, guys. Annabelle, guys. Come on, guys. We gotta get this. Guys, Thomas, please, guys. Thomas, quit horsing around and grab ass, and I need you on set. Where's TJ? <laughs> Where's he's, TJ? He's back in his trailer. No one can get it open. All right. Well, then we'll shoot this one without him. We'll shoot him out. Guys. 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 Yeah, so so he's from day? Austin. We have a, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a good old boy. We're at South by Southwest here with Hit Fix. Ladies and gentlemen. Get nasty. Get.com org. Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Get.com org fresh. Org fresh. Totally tubular. Next up, Nickelback. <laughs> we got back to back Nickelback. <laughs> We're going Nickelback to back coming up in the hour on Hit Hit. Dot com fix <laughs> hit dot com fix fresh <laughs> an unworkable URL <laughs> coming at you all day all night get ready for an error 404 page yeah. close your eyes but you're still awake <laughs> close your eyes but you're still awake that's what I say to my daughter every time I put her to bed Close your eyes, but you're still awake. <laughs> also, I'm not your father. It's a waking dream. dream. <laughs> it's a waking dream forever. Hot fix. Hit fix, the night terror of hot fixes. I didn't get any sleep last night. I had a hot fix all night. <laughs> okay. All right. That's Let's what. All right. That's We're on the question. network that is describing the way that you fix an elderly television. Wham! That's a hit fix. You can fix the television set with the last one. I thought it was good. I'm so sweaty. I have I have paper towels in my armpits right now. You put napkins in his armpits. No, you don't. Yes. Oh, dude. That's a. $500. It's a hit fix. The number one way to fix a television. Life hacks. Put, I'm gonna keep going. Life hacks. Um, put napkins in your pits. Life hacks. If you need to wear corrective dental work. Get gold. Life hacks. Let's answer some more questions. No, I think you just hacked my life, so we're, pretty, we're good now. Did you ever keep anything in here? Put some weed in there? Oh, it's a little man. box. You can put some marijuana in there. You can put all this your, for your stash in there. Dude, dude, I was fucking hitting the hit fix box. Dude, I was so stashing last night. I got a fatty, fatty, fat Narnar burrito. Grilled zucchini, onions, all that tofu. Oh. <laughs> I don't 
lawnmower. Like <laughs> Long I like that. Dude. I oh man, critical mass. It was so gnarly. Tinder, next one. <laughs> Tinder. Swipe it to the left. <laughs> There's that thrinder now where you can find threesomes. That's what you're telling me. God, wouldn't that be Wait, fun? what is it called? It's three and I'm pl why don't I why am I plugging you're, somebody's you're, you're app, but it's it. yeah, three N D R or something like that. This is a good app. You find another girl who is pretty to your girlfriend and then you can sleep. Live the dream. <laughs> Knock your legs together. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for like this stuff actually. Hit fix. <laughs> <laughs> he does he does that every night and I just have to watch, which is strange. That's weird. I have him come over, wash the legs, take off. Yeah. And then And then it's nighttime. Is this before or after you tuck in your daughter? This my is daughter. <laughs> yeah. My daughter lives in a well in Nebraska. <laughs> She has for years. She She's should, well fed, well taken care of. She should be watching if she knows what's good for her. We got a TV down there for a can't damn reason. That's right. And it would cost a lot of money to get an antenna that was 45 feet tall. Yep. Broadband. Are you going to meet any Silicon Valley leader, leaders? Lord knows. Some I hope people. not. We met Eric Schmidt, who I guess is the guy. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, I don't know. What else? I don't know. It's a weird. It's a weird world that if you're, if you're not tapped into, you could be shaking hands with like a billionaire, but you just don't know. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> hey, I have no idea how rich you are. I was about to say, who like cares? in the entertainment world, you must have some idea of who has all the money, but in tech world, they. It's a little obscure. Well, the people that are in the tech world know who has a lot of money, and there's people in. I mean, it doesn't matter how much money you have, but that's true, guys. Who cares? Stop chasing the green dream, man. Yeah, man. This is America. <laughs> it's, that's what this America isn't about. Oh, I'm being a it's, No, you're not. It's a hit fix. Fix it with a hit. There it is. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I think the people in Hollywood... I just like that you had no idea now, where that hand was I'm going. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, yeah, there's people in Hollywood, and, you know, you wouldn't realize it, but they're, you know, they've, mm -hmm. they've got quite a bit of money. I think the people in the tech world know who has... Who the power players are, so mm -hmm. to speak. Mm -hmm. Did you have to meet a lot like of these guys to get any background, or did you feel like this is pretty natural to you? I don't. I didn't do any research at all, or anything. But I never do. I'm not like an, an actor, really. I've been asked. I've been asked many tech questions now since being on the show, and I, I want to be like, I'm not a. I'm not a real doctor. I just play one on <laughs> TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say a lot of. Uh, uh, Entertainment outlets are going to cover this, obviously, H HBO, big deal. But now it's going to be a lot of the tech, tech blogs, blogs yeah. and yeah. kind of cross-checking that. Look. Hey, they want to talk about video games, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all for it. But. Yeah, and I think, you know, these guys are all actual nerds, you know. Like, that was the funny thing is in between takes, Jeez. at a certain point, it's disgusting nerd. <laughs> these filthy <laughs> little nerds. Oh, God. <laughs> Go play your video games, yes. nerds. I can't identify with you. I play a real man's game. Alcohol. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> no, but like, he plays LARP, which is pretty crazy. LARP. Well, I don't LARP. LARP. I don't LARP. I would LARP. No, no, no. Gar GURPS. Gor GURPS. Generic universal role playing system. I'm, see, I'm a nerd, but in a different way. I may not code, but I do my own thing. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're nerds in the sense like, any team takes, they'd be playing Magic the Gathering did it, did for Magic. reals. <laughs> yes. And so I would walk in, and they'd all be like, playing Magic the Gathering, and be like, yes, now you have less um, health points. And it's like, which spell should I use? And Spoken like, like a non-Magic the Gathering player. Yeah, I know, right. And, yeah, then, uh, and then they'd be like, come on, you guys, we got to shoot. And they'd be like, yeah, yeah, just a second. So they'd keep playing Magic and like, you know, because they're just fucking nerds. Yeah, TJ's, TJ's the cool one. He's the guy with the cool grill and the hat. And Well, who has the nerdiest hobby on set then? Oh, this was... The I think this went into debate. I think last time we debated this, I won. Yeah, yeah I think you win because he does uh, GURP. I, well, Kumail, Kumail has a, pod, a video game podcast. Which, which is, is awesome. It's very good, mm -hmm. and he's got a good following that. And that's pretty nerdy. But I, mean, I play... Martin plays like... Magic the Gathering on his iPad. Yeah, but I I I play like a Dungeons and Dragons like offshoot, which is like a more complex version of Dungeons and Dragons and called GURPS. Pretty big into video games. And I like video games, and I go to the Ren Fairs in garb. So. 
Woo! I forgot about that white horse. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing I'm concerned about That's this year, the, the thing yeah. I'm concerned about this year is like having a more authentic costume. <laughs> It's bad news. It's real. I mean, sometimes you just gotta take life by the horns. That's a uh, that's a unicorn reference from his friend. Yeah, I, I, to be clear, you gotta I'm take kidding. life by the horn. And I mean a uh, minotaur horn. Yeah. <laughs> For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitPix on Twitter or visit HitPix.com. <laughs>